In this episode, we're going to make monkey bites. It's a banana bread with peanut butter and chocolate chips in it. We're gonna start this recipe with a half a cup of butter, which is one stick that's room temperature, and we're gonna cream that until it's light and fluffy. After it's light and fluffy, we're going to add in one cup of sugar and let that mix until it's a really light and fluffy mixture. This should take a couple of minutes. As you're creaming the butter and sugar, you wanna make sure that you stop and scrape down the side of your bowl several times to make sure that you don't have any butter stuck to the edges that isn't getting creamed together with your sugar. After you've creamed your butter and sugar, you're going to add one egg at a time. Let that egg mix into the butter and sugar mixture until it all looks the same. You also want to stop and scrape down your mixing bowl during this process as well to make sure that everything is getting mixed together evenly. Once your first egg has been mixed in, add your second egg and repeat the process. Make sure you scrape down the mixer one last time to make sure that everything gets mixed together evenly. To this mixture, we're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla, a tablespoon of milk, a cup of mashed bananas, and two thirds of a cup of peanut butter. I like to buy bananas and let them ripen on my counter until they have black spots on them. And then I peel them, break them in half or into little segments, put them in a freezer Ziploc bag, squeeze out the air and let them freeze. That way I always have bananas ready when I want to make banana bread or a smoothie. We're gonna mix this mixture together until everything looks the same. Next, we wanna combine our dry ingredients. We have two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt. We wanna stir those together until well combined. Next, we're gonna add the dry ingredients in three segments. Add roughly a third of the dry ingredients to the batter and mix just until combined. Then we're gonna add the next third and repeat the process until all of our flour mixture is in the mixer. Make sure to stop your mixer after the flour has been incorporated. We only want to mix this until just combined. After you have all of the flour in, make sure that you scrape your bowl down again and that you give it a chance to mix everything together one last time. Then we're going to add in three fourths of a cup of chocolate chips. I like to use mini chocolate chips if you have them. It spreads out the chocolate more evenly throughout the batter but you can use whatever kind you have on hand. I use semi-sweet chocolate chips in this recipe. Next, prepare your pan by spraying it with a baking spray or a cooking spray. I'm using a mini muffin tin for this, but you could also use a regular muffin tin. Then fill each cavity with a spoonful of batter and top with sugar if wanted. Put them in the oven at 350. Mine take about 14 minutes to bake, but I would start checking them about 12 minutes to make sure that you don't over bake your muffins. When they come out of the oven, you should be able to insert a toothpick into the center and it should come out clean. After they've cooled for a few minutes in the pan, move them to a cooling rack to finish cooling. Alan and Ryan were busy doing schoolwork while I made these, but they still get to do the taste test. I think it's good and 
It has, I like the peanut butter and the chocolate flavor. And if you have the ingredients to try this, you should definitely try this. So, and you can have this for breakfast too.